guys. Uh, today's going to be a really short video. Um, just basically so, uh, some stuff going on that I'm going to address. Uh, it involves ColourPop. Uh, a lot of y'all may have noticed they came out with a... It, was, it started out as them saying it was going to be a neon collection. They had even teased all like a bunch of color schemes and whenever they showed the collection it was a bunch of neutral colors with one pop of color and that was it and they weren't the pops of color weren't even technically neon colors um and here lately they their launches they've had a bunch of launches and a lot of them have been nothing but neutrals and if there is color, it's just very muted color. And I actually haven't gotten anything from them in a while because of that. Um, and the thing that's really bothering me right now is that everybody has been commenting on Instagram and Facebook both that they wanted more color. And on the comments of the particular post with the supposed neon collection uh, people were very upset that they basically teased them thinking there was going to be neons because that's what everybody wanted and instead of listening to their customers and to all the complaints on Instagram they started deleting people's comments that uh, were against the collection and anything that they if they disagreed with what ColourPop had put out ColourPop deleted the uh, comments and they were allowing a lot of I'm assuming it's the people that they send PR to were commenting on there saying how much they love the collection and everything like that and if, not all the time but a lot of the time if an influencer gets PR a lot of the time they're going to say something good about that company in order to get to continue getting PR and things like that but that's what I'm thinking is happening on their Instagram with the comments that are actually coming through that are good comments saying oh this is beautiful blah 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 I think it's people that are getting PR from them but Instead of listening to their customers and consumers, they keep posting about this neon collection. And, and now that now they've changed the name completely from and from I think it started out as neon electric to now they're just calling it neutrals with a pop of color because there was so much backlash. And this entire situation has it's really turned me off to color pop. Like, I, I'm, after this, I will not be supporting them anymore unless that they can prove that they're not going to act like that as a company. Because I've literally, see, I've literally watched them going through and deleting comments. Like, there will be a comment there that I've read, and I'll click back and then come back to it, and the comment's gone. And that's a really dishonest thing for a company to do. And not to mention the fact that they don't seem to care what their customers think. And if they don't care what their customers think, then obviously they don't care if I'm a customer or not. If they don't care what I think, they don't care if I buy from them or not. So until they can prove that they're an honest company, uh, the company that I remember loving so much, and a creative company, until then, I'm not going to be doing any more ColourPop videos. I won't be purchasing anything from them. And I'm just, I'm very disappointed in them as a company, as a whole. Because I had no idea that that's the way they treated their customers. And that's the kind of morals that they had, I guess. Um... They just, they have continued pushing this collection even after every comment was saying they didn't want this. They wanted actual neon colors. And it's just, 
I think that's just finally the end of it. There's there. I don't feel like they're even trying anymore. And it's just gotten to where I'm just kind of sick of it. I've, I've unfollowed them on Facebook. I've unfollowed them on Instagram. And instead, I'm going to give my money to companies that I know deserve it and actually care what I think. Um, one of those brands is uh, Nomad Cosmetics. Um, I've really come to like them over the past couple of years. Um, they're an indie brand, and they're a little more expensive than ColourPop, but it's not outrageous. And their pigmentation and quality of their eyeshadows is really, really good. And I've also here lately been into Juvia's Place. Um, I just uh, got their uh, the Sweet Pinks palette. And it's very pigmented and it basically, the shadows blend themselves out when you use them. And I think I'm just going to use this time to try out like indie brands and things like that. That seem to want to put a little more effort and time and thought into their releases. Because it doesn't look like ColourPop's going to do that. It seems like they're just recycling neutrals and putting them in different palettes and trying to pass it off as a new launch. And I think I think this is just kind of a this has just been the extra push to get me to try different brands. And I really want to give I really want to use my money to support indie brands and black owned brands, um, Hispanic owned brands. Asian owned brands, things like that. And this was just the push I needed, I think. Um, if you want to give me some comments and uh, give me some comments of other brands that I could try. Um, and I may go ahead and do a review on those. Um, if I'm able to order from them. Some places may be out of stock right now, but um and just I guess let me know what you think of the way ColourPop's acting because I just, I feel like they've been really sketchy here lately. Like it's not the brand that I remember. But I guess that's it for today. Um, the next video hopefully will be a more positive video. I'll probably do maybe a get ready with me or a tutorial, something like that. But I will see y'all next time, and I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Bye.